x2 greater than equals to 1 and x3 greater than equals to 1 because every box should get at least one ball now maximum constraint is there a maximum constraint on x1 the question is saying nothing about the maximum constraint question is not specifying a maximum constraint but automatically there is a maximum constraint because total is 5 right so max of x1 is 5 minus min of x2 minus min of x3 so we are trying to figure out the extreme value of x1 the maximum value of x1 and the extreme will come when the other two variables possess minimum values so 5 minus 1 minus 1 3 so max of x1 is 3 so basically x1 can take values 1 x1 can be 2 x1 can be 3 so there are three possible values which x1 can take so it means the boy one can get either one ball or two balls or three balls right similarly uh, there's, there's a symmetry in um, the constraints are same ac uh, across all three uh, boxes so it means x2 is also one x2 also can possess x2 uh, means the number of balls given uh, placed in box 2 is also 1 2 3 right and same for x3 1 2 3 right either we can put one ball in box 1 or we can put two balls in box 1 or we can place three balls in box 1 so 1 2 3 so these are the values these variables can take or these are the balls that can be placed in three boxes now it means that uh, so we have x1 plus x2 plus x3 should be equal to 5 where xi representing number of balls in boxes should be between 1 2 3 where i equal to 1 2 3 now we'll map it we'll see uh, the, the, like uh, we'll, we'll do this mapping that number of solutions number of solutions of this integral equation of equation is same as number of ways to divide balls in boxes under the constraint that every box should get at least one ball why the two are equal because see, every solution of this equation is rep will represent a way in which boxes balls can be placed in boxes for example when we say solution of an equation means sum of three variables equal to five one three one such that none of them is uh, less than one and greater than three one three one is one way so this is an integral solution of this integral equation and this also a way represents a way in which we can place balls in boxes one three one one in box one three in box two and one in box three right so so it means will uh, number of solutions of this would represent number of ways to divide balls in boxes uh, ways to place balls in boxes so let's see how to find number of solutions of this the number of solutions of this is the there's a approach there's a formula or we can say method to find number of solutions the, the derivation of this method is is uh, is not important you know exam is objective so let's see how we do it number of solutions equals to coefficient of we'll x to the power right hand side right hand side is 5 so 5 here right basically it's a x to the power right hand side in in the expansion we will find this coefficient in which expansion the expansion we have to make how to make the expansion we take each and every variable we'll take x1 and see the values x1 can take x1 can take value 1 so, or 2 or 3 so x1 can take 3 values 1 2 3 now will the values x1 can take we write them as powers of x and add so we make an expansion with respect to variable x1 how by keeping by putting the values x1 can take as powers of x and add so this expression is corresponding to variable x1 where 1 2 3 are the possible values x1 can take and x is the base similarly x2 can take x2 can possess values same values 1 2 3 so for x2 we make similar kind of bracket by placing by putting the values x2 can take on as powers of x and add and same for x3 so it's a universal approach whenever we have to find solutions of integral equation we make this kind of uh, 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 with this kind of approach we make this kind of expression where we find coefficient of x to the power right hand side in then in, in an expansion which we form by observing the values each and each and every variable can take writing them as powers of x adding them and 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 making s uh, such bracket for every every variable and multiplying all such brackets right now the rest is the binomial, binomial theorem coefficient of x to the power 5 in right this is uh, 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 x plus x square plus x cube whole cube we take x common so it is x cube into 1 plus x plus x square 
finding coefficient of x to the power 5 in this expansion is same as coefficient of x square in the remaining 1 plus x plus x square whole cube we apply GP formula 1 minus x cube over 1 minus x sum of 3 terms of GP with first term 1 common ratio x whole cube so we have to find coefficient of x square in 1 minus x cube whole cube into 1 minus x to the power minus 3 now if we expand this binomially 3c0 minus 3c1 x cube 3c2 x to the power 6 goes on only term that can contribute in x square is 3c0 that is 1 these are they are not going to contribute the reason is that if you see expansion of this this, this binomial theorem with negative index is not in the syllabus if expansion of this is in terms of infinite series in terms of infinite series where powers of x increase from 0 to infinity where ar can be obtained as here coefficient of x to the power r is n plus r minus 1 cr so we can find all these coefficients using this formula so this is what we are going to use whenever the the superscript is negative whenever this power is negative like in this case so you can see this has all the positive powers so how can we get x square uh, from x cube we cannot get x square because x cube can generate x square only when you multiply with 1 by x x to the power minus 1 which is not present here similarly x to the power 6 cannot generate x square because it can generate only when we multiply with x to the power minus 4 and minus 4 is not there power minus 4 is not there so only 1 when multiplied with x square term so answer is 3c0 into coefficient of x square in 1 minus x to the power minus 3 this is the way we can get coefficient of x square x square from this and, and constant from this multiplied now x square this 3c0 sorry 3c0 is 1 now we have to see x square in this according to this formula n is 3 r is 2 the, the power which you need to see coefficient the power whose coefficient you need to see 2 minus 1 cr r is 2 so it is 4c2 6 right so this is how we find number of solutions of integral equation first of all we map the permutation quotient to an integral equation we make an integral equation of the permutation quotient right and once we have integral equation we find uh, uh, number of we find we, we, we find number of solutions of the integral equation under the constraints and there are two separate things making a mathematical model of the problem making integral equation and solving this integral equation right